Welcome back to another painting session. Oh, hold me on this one. Turn down the camera a little bit. And there we go. Okay. So, this is the stencil painting I was talking about for so much. After I got the painting, I'm going to just put it away in my watch so it doesn't get messed up. Then get out the stencils and render picture. So this is the picture of it, or uh, not the picture, this is stencil I cut out, and this was the render, the official Capcom render of the Gosh uh from Monster Hunter Rise. I think I did a pretty good job, I'm just going to line it a little bit. It takes a bit to get the fine details, and it can never truly be perfect. But I don't have a laser cutter, so I think I did pretty well. The only thing that's really missing is this little bit right here, if you can see it. I don't, I don't know what happened. I just remember I, I didn't even skip anything. I just um, cut a bit too deep, but not that deep. I don't know what happened, but it's fine. It's really not that noticeable. I was even there. But this is the stencil I will be using. away okay this will be the second stencil painting i have high hopes for this one as this obviously is much larger than the, the raffian stencil in the second and this is what that looks like see there's a bit of a difference this has a lot more gaps than the bulky nature of this but the trade-off is you don't really know what it is unless you know you're told or you really know the monster this i mean it's pretty clear it's even if you don't know monster on it, it's some sort of dragon or wyvern as it's classified as um but yeah but this thing you don't really know and i can't really give it much detail as that's not the type of stencil painting i'm doing uh, i'm doing a landscape in this sort of window in the shape of this monster and then outside i'm going to do scales of course if you know this monster you will know it has a lot of fur uh, i cannot do fur not right now i don't have stencil for it nor do i have the artistic ability to do so so i'll just be doing the cheap thing which it has it does have scales but not really here but I'm going to still raise up a color because usually it, it changes its color midway through the fight where it, it's usually just blue, like this sort of blue, or like the light blues, maybe a little bit darker. But as it gets more and more aggressive, its arms turn red and that's what I'm going to have in the midsection and that's why I have these two reds right here. But I'm going to try to blend them the best I can. I also have purples here for the inside. But the main thing will be here. And on the underside will be white. Maybe a little bit of blue. Like it will be lighter than this blue. It will be very light. Because um, that's, uh, I looked at the picture, the render. And underneath it was white. Uh, or what I could see anyway. Uh, especially with its head area, the, the scales there are very pronounced and you could see a very fine white underlay be, uh, beneath those scales, connecting them together. So I'm going to put this away for now. I'm also going to split this video up in three parts, but I'm going to group um, two of them together so it, it's a bit more, for you, you'll be, it will look better. Um, because the last two videos when I unclamped my phone and then put it towards the painting uh, It was a bit sloppy as I had to rotate my phone to have some um, moving magic as it, it's my phone is opposite towards me. It's over there But I flip it and then tilt it in such a way that it looks like you're over here But if um, I, I can't I don't know how to rotate in a particular time. It rotates all time. 
all, all at the time of that video, it rotates all of it. Uh, to my knowledge, anyway, or with the software I use, which is just for my phone. It's the most basic stuff. Um, so, when I do get close uh, to the painting, the finished product, I will stop the video, make a new one, uh, and, and not and not rotate that. Once that's done, I will uh, attach it to the last video. So it'll be part two attached to the ending. So it would just be one bit. So it'll be one, two, but it'll be three different videos to start off with. It'll be just like the different, the other uh, stencil paintings where I do, you know, wait an exorbitant amount of time. But I have some strategies to help me more. Hopefully it helps. And uh, without all that jibber jabber, hopefully ain't that bad for you. I am going to get my gloves on and then I'm going to get to work. Sound good? Yeah. But it does. But it does. If I find out a way, I might fast forward uh, the, the landscape process because what I plan to do is make a bluish moon over here followed by a singular mountain or many um, crag type mountains over here and then once that's done I'll have a tree line actually I'll make a line right there and below this line will be a lake. It'll be much more pronounced than Rathian Lake as there was a huge gap in between the two lakes. Here, it won't be the case as it will be at the waist down, giving it a lot more room. I might even make a few up trees, uh, uh, big, big trees, not up trees, uh, big trees over here, or uh, I, I wanted to do dead shrubs, but I don't think I have the artistic ability to do so. Um, so I'm not going to try it. I'm going to play it safe in, t in that regard. But here, the moon, I should be able to do that fine. I made a really good moon before. Oh, uh, I, had, I even made a video on it. Uh, this Lunar Serenity uh, spray arts video. I do encourage you to watch that. Very proud of that piece. I did not think it was going to go that far. But it turned out very well. Oh, uh, I'm pretty sure the video captured it. Um, okay, let's start getting started now. There should be more than enough. Once I have that done, I will have a top coat. Something like that. Take this and one, two, three. That's it. For now, yeah. And now we have that. What we are now going to do is one minute, I'm going to get a new cap. We are going to have many other top coats on top of that over and over again until I'm happy about it. Very tedious, I know. 
это синтетическая A bit more, a little bit done. Or it could be an hour. Now, after this, it could be done. And now, come on, sir. Good. It's too much. Oh, it's too short. I mean, I Any more white and then I should be fine. I should be covered up. But I really don't know. Okay. That so looks good. Once that's good, I'm gonna have I'm not gonna lay over this one. It will just be one coat over and then that's it. So we have that, right? I am now. How do I want to do this? Okay. Making that mark so I know how far it should go. So I'm going to keep it there for now. Keep it there for a little bit. Let it dry. So what I'm going to do is, once I have that all settled, I am then going to make the space around it. And then I'll just color over here. Once I have that done, uh, stars, comets. And then I'll add the mountains. It, when I get to that point, I may or may not just say a cue so I could fast forward it, but I may not, I don't know. It depends if I'm able to or not. If I am, yeah, sure, I'll be able to do that, but just don't, I just don't know.
again, I could also just do the, um, the different video thing and then time lapse that. What to do, what to do. I mean, I don't want to know. I mean, I, I know a little bit how to use Adobe software. It, it's just that it it's very difficult to get out because there's been an issue where it oversaturates my videos whenever I did use it. So, kind of don't want to use it because of that. If it wasn't because of that, yeah, I would be using it much more and then I'll probably have much better edited videos. But that's not the case now, is it?
Yeah. And it's taking these markers down so I know where to put it. The stencil I need. Mean. It now. Okay, that's a star. Then it ends. Right. Right there. There we go. I'm getting that off. This part also. So well, these are the lines. This is what I gotta work with. I set it down. Just in case I made a mistake. And yeah. There's gonna be a little bit of uh, leeway. But yeah, that's pretty much it. In terms of boundaries. Class taken care of, I'll make the lines again. There we go. So I gotta work with it. And then. Yeah, so I'm gonna get a piece of paper, put some spray paint on it, and then take the paint. It's like Arkansas, and Missouri. Oh, I don't like Missouri. Nah, looks more like Missouri than Arkansas. Okay, I'm gonna sit back down, take the mask off. Okay. Now, I do not know if I will. Yeah, I don't know if I am going to time lapse this. I just might, so I, I get to do something new. Y'all might like it. Um, so I'm going to stop the video, and it's not a new one. I'll, I'll clip it. Or not clip it, I'll, I'll just splice it, but I won't say anything during that. It, so it doesn't come up like. So it doesn't come up like squeaking so I don't know what type I don't want to put Capcom music in there because I, I, I don't know that would get me any issues uh, I don't think it will if I cite the source but I don't think I will I might have a little voiceover over it who knows 
but um, yeah, you go over there. Do my phone. Stop the video. Start a new one. And then I'll get started. Yeah. Now I'm gonna start it back up again when I got the lake. So, no, I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna stop it once I have all the stuff taken care of. And then I say, you know, goodbyes and stuff. So that's how that works. And I will see you on the other side. So if you could probably tell by my voice, I decided to do a voiceover during this time lapse. During these things, I'm going to either, depending on how long the video is, I'm going to talk about the monster or the process of the time lapse. This being just me doing a singular crooked mountain that I thought would be a bit better than one singly pointed mountain. Give it a bit of finesse, you know. But it also means I'm going to have to make the tent a lot slimmer. And that's what I'm doing at that moment. While I'm making this audio, I'm also looking at the video and trying to match it up the best I can. The main reason why I did the time lapse and the voiceover, well, I told you why the voiceover, but the time lapse is because this process takes by far the longest, especially if you have to do more than one mountain. And the main reason is because the tent, I have to take my time to make the details and you know I, I like the details other people like to do a, a few strokes and that's all but for me i would like to do a lot of details in there if i can and unfortunately that does take a lot of time and i'm done with the mountain as you can see adding in clouds and mist mist on the bottom clouds up top once i have all that we'll be making a tree line how the tree line works is i make some trees tall and some short and I make a good enough in between. Uh, it, what I mean by that is the black area in between the spikes up and down, where I'm going to put the paint scraper to divide the painting in the middle of it. Now here I made a little bit issue. I made some trees smaller, so I had to enlarge them a bit. And then I placed it back down. Unfortunately, you can't see all of the lake, but I'm pretty sure you can see in your, in your mind how it would actually work. I'm just making single strokes up, a lot of gloss paint, so I streak across with my finger, add two more streaks of white in the middle, and then I have navy blue on the corners, followed by some mist. Now the voiceover isn't going to last the entire time lapse, because during the end seconds I'm going to stop talking, stop talking, I think it's supposed to say, never mind, but I put the weights back on bit more of the shade on the sides and then mist and after that I should be all done to go to the next part and now I'm back so saw the time lapse here it is oh, it's all done and real time I uh, had some mist in hopefully it'll be caught um, caught with with a stencil of course obviously um, I Stop it now, so I can show you one of my techniques of keeping it drier quicker. And that is to use gloss paint. I'd rather not use gloss, but using gloss does help with the drying process, as it applies a coat um, that, in my opinion, dries much quicker and is much less sticky than the paint itself. So because the lake is so wet at the moment, I'm going to wait just a little bit. If I, if I put gloss on at the moment here, then it might drift somewhere else. As, as think of it like wa blowing on water. Think of it as blowing on water, the water is going to move. Same thing with the paint. If it has enough force back behind it, it will move. It will also blend in other areas where it should not need to. But, um, yeah, I still have the markers there. Hopefully it will come out well. It's a painting all by itself. Uh, I did the, um, the hooked mountain pretty well, I think. 
I try to make an environment of that you would find this thing in. It would be pretty realistic to find uh, the Gosharag in this location, uh, to me anyway. Um, yeah, I think I did a pretty good job with the clouds, especially up above. Um, big stars could do some work, but I tried to like thin them out a little bit. Um, but yeah, I think it's time to have a coat on. Okay. That seems good. Now I'm going to stop the video and I am going to come back once I believe it is off well and dry and is worthy of getting the stencil on and not getting stuck. All right. Um, I hope you have enjoyed this part of the process. Hopefully, I did the time lapse well. I don't know until I have made the time lapse, but um, yeah, I think it went all right. A lot of mist, I know, but it hopefully it won't be too combative with the other bits. Uh, the outside, I mean, and, and, and the lake, the mountain, the planet, the moon, rather. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for this part anyway. I'll come back and you'll see me now with stencil and weights on top of it. I will see you then.